lonesome friends of science say the world will end most any day. Well, if it does, then that's okay. Cause I don't live here anyway. I live deep down inside my head. Well, long ago I made my bed. I get my mail in Tennessee. My wife, my dog, and my family. a mighty planet there, not just an ordinary star, hanging out in Hollywood, and some old funky sushi bar, a lonesome friends of science say, the world will end most in it. here anyway I live deep down inside my head where well, long ago I made my bed I get my mail in Tennessee my wife, my dog and my family guys great to see you Joe here and welcome to another lesson bit of a bonus lesson this one because uh, it's just something I've been checking out I'm thinking of playing this one live myself so I just thought I'd learn it because it's one of those songs that really sticks in your mind uh, for anybody who's interested in this one it's called the lonesome friends of science and it's by John Prine and there's a link down below to have a listen to the track Okay, so like I say, this is nice from the point of view that it's a very, very quick one to learn, yeah? The song's in C. And so if you just check out, the, let's have a look at the left hand first, okay? So look at the chords and look at the way the ring finger on the C is just alternating on the fifth and sixth strings, okay? So we have... So it starts in the C, and it goes to F. Back to C, to a G, and it just repeats. And that is all there is to it. Okay, and so other than that, the only other thing that you need to think about are occasionally at the end of some verses, he plays C. So at the very end of the verse, he plays ah ha ha. A minor switches to five six in the bass. Ah, uh -huh. back to C, alternate the bass. And A minor uh -huh. five six. Ah, uh -huh. and that's the only other thing that it does. Yeah, and it just does that periodically. So you need to listen to the song so you know where it does that. Okay, so that's like the left hand out of the way. So now, if you have a little look at my right hand, okay. What you'll see is that it's a very simple technique. It's like a pluck on the bass and a little brush. And sometimes I'll drag up a little bit after I've brushed down. I'll drag up a little bit. So we have the first friends of science. So yeah, like I say, you got your 6-5 there. 6-5 there again. 6-5 there. For the F. Back to 6-5 when you're in the C. A 6-5 there. 5-6. 5-6 again. 5-6. So as I say, with this brush, 
it's like a so just experiment trying to be loose with this right hand so it flows with the song in sympathy with the song 